Okay, it's been a long time since I've vlogged. The reason being, I was drunk for quite a bit. So I decided again to quit drinking. And uh, this time, it's done. I, I, I'm, I'm done drinking. I've said this before though, and then you know I go like six weeks and suddenly, hey, time to party again. But seriously, the last time I woke up, it was March 23rd, day before I did uh, the Norwest Con show. I woke up and felt just horrid, just fucking horrid. I called into work sick. I was already late, so it was already like a no-show. And then called in sick. Then slept until like fucking 4 or 5 p.m. and still felt like shit. Still managed to get up and exercise. But then, I went through the next two days going through alcohol withdrawals. Like, my sheets were wet with me sweating. That sucked. So, it was like, just feeling like shit. I, I realized I fucking hate alcohol. And I don't want to be one of those assholes that are always like, Oh, my life has changed now that I'm done drinking. It's like, no, I, I just fucking drink too much. And, you know, it, it, I just need to develop new habits. I'm just kind of one of those people that likes to do a lot of something. You know, a lot of ice cream, a lot of pizza, a lot of alcohol, you know. I just got one of those personalities. And uh, so I don't want to be annoying about it, but really that's why I haven't been vlogging at all. i just been shitty drunk and just not doing shit except for drinking. And my whole vlog would have been me like, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Look, just boring as fuck. So yeah, I'm behind, haven't been booking shows, so I've just been getting on it, trying to book shows again, getting over this little slump. So just getting you guys caught up. This is a boring vlog. I didn't do any of this shit. I didn't get my GoPro going, but I'm going to be back on it again. I'm getting some shows booked. Someone just offered me a show down in Oregon. I guess this guy's on tour. And he wanted me, it was just weird, I just tweeted out, hey, I'm booking shows again, and someone on Twitter was like, hey, I'm doing a tour, and I'm going to be in Oregon, want to go down there? I'm like, alright. So, it's probably not worth the five hour drive to Oregon, but I just want to do a road trip for fucking fun. So, that's what I'm going to fucking do. Other news, I am under 200 pounds. Shh, I'm under 200 pounds. So yeah, I've been exercising six days a week. Trying to calorie count. Got a little app for that shit. And yeah, dropping weight. Feeling good. Actually got some new jeans that are size 34. I was wearing a size 38. And I realized there was a whole bunch of room in the jeans. So, got new jeans. I feel, dude, it actually, it feels amazing. When, you know, you're overweight and you're wearing these jeans that are, you know, are fat jeans. And then just to realize, well, you know, you get a whole little wardrobe thing going on and you're like, oh my God, I look good. I'm feeling good. That's fucking amazing. So he went out there who, you know, was struggling with weight problems, you know, not exercising, not eating right. One step at a time and it's worth it. You can't exercise every day. Try three days a week. Just get one minute of walking or jogging. Whatever you can do. Just one minute. And just build on it slowly. So you're not overexerting yourself. It's not a big thing in your day. And just each week, add a minute. You know, once you're comfortable with jogging and you establish that as a habit, then move on to, like, maybe do some weight training on those other days. You know, get some barbells. Just do something a little bit. Do like a one minute thing. And I swear, just doing small little changes over time, it does it. And it, it takes a while to get over that. There's like a little, and then things start finally going down and you start feeling better about yourself. It's a fucking amazing thing. So yeah, my diet, my exercising, you know, quitting alcohol. Right now, at this very instant, I feel fucking amazing. And, you know, I just did all these fucking push-ups. More push-ups than I've ever been able to do in my life. Jogging. I jogged down to the beach. I jogged like 5.3 miles the other day. 
Holy fuck. I used to not be able to jog one mile. I used to be a pack a day smoker. So I'm I'm feeling crazy. I'm feeling weird. Feeling like I'm going through a big change in my life. A big positive change. To the point I got a couple of tattoos. This one says discipline equals freedom. It's all nasty right here. Ugh, it's flaky, you know, new tattoos healing up. So discipline equals freedom. It's from a podcast from Tim Ferriss, where uh, this he was interviewing this m military guy, but the military guy would just, amazing shit. I think he's one of the integral people to like how, I guess, either Afghanistan or Iraq, how they won over the people and able to embed soldiers. And anyway, this guy is like kind of creepy, scary, but he said something that stuck with me. Discipline equals freedom. That means you got to, in order to get the freedom and happiness and shit in you, that you want in life, you got to, you know, do the work behind it. You got to discipline yourself so you can have that fun later. And I remember even talking about that with my friend Kai the other day. His band, uh, Bucharest Drinking Team, they just went to Hunk, I think is the name of it. It's like a brass band thing down in Austin, Texas. And huge thing, but they had to work their asses off to get there. But once they got there, they had the fucking time of their lives just playing music and seeing all these bands and going crazy. It was a lot of hard work to get there, but they had fun. Hard work equals fun. Discipline equals freedom. And that's what I'm going on right now. So I got that tattoo to remind myself. And whenever I'm slacking, discipline equals freedom. And this one's for art. This one says, fight resistance. And that's from a book called The War of Art. Actually, the saying is mine. Oh, it doesn't look like I'm bald. Whatever. I'm getting older. I'm losing hair. I don't care. Anyway, uh, so fight resistance. Resistance is kind of the protagonist of the book. It's not really a novel or anything, but it's resistance is that shit that comes up and gets in your way of being your creative self. So fight resistance, that's to remind me when I don't want to do music, when I rather just veg on the couch and watch TV, I need to get off my ass and go do the music. Fight resistance, fight it with everything you can. Had to fight it tonight. I didn't want to go change the strings and get the studio all prepared for me to go in and record tomorrow morning. So I fought resistance, did it, got in there, fought it this morning. I woke up 5.30 in the morning, got my ass into the studio to practice music before work. And uh, yeah, it's discipline equals freedom, fight resistance. That's my mantra right now is just moving forward with that. But you missed... All my misadventures with Tinder. I didn't vlog all that. Really not much to vlog other than I, I don't know how to pick up women on Tinder or OkCupid okay or real life. But I'm working on it. Working on it. So uh, that's another story, another time. I'm going to write songs about the Tinder shit. I've deleted my online dating profiles because it's demoralizing, really. <laughs> Let me know in the com comments if you've been on those dating sites and you feel demoralized. At least men, if you feel demoralized. Women, you probably are inundated by assholes. That's why I saw that uh, site or Instagram called Bye Felipe. Hilarious stuff. I'm sorry, women. On behalf of all men, I apologize for that bullshit. Men shouldn't act that way toward you. Anyways, that's all I gotta say. I'm calling this my vlog post. I'm not gonna do really any editing. I'll start editing again and doing a little bit better in the future. So I'm gonna try to just put out like three of these vlog posts a week. Because I was trying to do it daily for a second there and I think it's a bit too much. Just because, you know, I'm, I'm not trying to be a videographer, I'm trying to be a musician, kind of promoting my videography. But uh, we'll see how it goes. But anyway, go out, be creative, remember, discipline equals freedom, fight resistance, go out, fucking do that shit, and if you're overweight, just remember, one minute at a time, and just keep adding on to it slowly, within your comfort zone, and your brain will gradually roll over into healthy mode. It takes a while. The brain will resist. Resistance, you'll get there. Anyway, take care. Be awesome. Fucking 
If you got any shows you want me to play, man, fucking let me know in the comments, man. If you want me to come to your town, your living room, your bathroom, I'll be there. In your toilet. Toilet music. 2016, bitches. Take care. I need to shut up right now. I totally forgot to mention. Um, tattoos I got. This shit. Oh, I can't do that. And this thing. That's by my friend Johnny Heartbreaker. And he works at um, Good Karma Body Art. My friend Chani also works there as well. Excellent tattoo artists. It's in Linwood, just kind of north of Seattle, not that far north. They're awesome. Give them a call and set up an appointment if you want a tattoo. All right. I need to do a shout out right there.